guys, how's it going? I know it's been a little while, eh? It's been awesome out, it's been super sunny out, and well now it's a rainy day. So I'm back, I'm coming back to you. Last time I was on, I was talking about how I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about dairy. Um, first though, before I do that, I'd like to say that on Wednesday night, I'm gonna post this though too, Wednesday night I'm going live again, and hopefully you guys can pop on. I'm gonna go live about 8.15 or so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about mom guilt. So if you guys wanna post any comments, I'm gonna make a post anyways, um, probably I guess it would be just above this video. And basically just in the comments saying, saying things that you might feel mom guilt for. Um, but there's a bunch of things that I'm gonna kinda talk about along those lines anyhow. And that's gonna be this Wednesday night at, I think I said, yeah, 8.15. 8.15, anyways, I'm gonna post it. So. What I wanted to talk to you guys, we were kind of talking a little about nutrition, we were talking about packaged foods, we were talking about sugars. So now we're going to talk a little bit about dairy. So how do you guys feel about dairy, right? So there's all kinds of things. Honestly, anything you want to look up on the internet, you're going to find a for and you're going to find an against on anything. Anything. It's crazy. So for dairy... And most things, I'm going to say this all the time, is just go by your own intuition, by how you feel when you eat that stuff. Anything in moderation, a nice colorful palette of, of food is, is always the best so that we get all kinds of vitamins and minerals that we can. But as far as dairies go, a couple of things to watch. So if you're wanting to watch your sugar, then be mindful of it read the back so i have this here i have this cheese okay black diamond so when you look at it a lot of sh dairies that say low fat basically means that they take the fat out like they take the the better part or the, the more goodness of it out and then they replace it with like sugars all kinds of sugars so and then remember when we, i had showed you guys all the different names for sugar as well so that's what they tend to do with low fat stuff i think it was in the 80s i believe yeah like around the time when i was little there was this huge craze that fat makes you fat so everything went low fat those sugar companies are freaking smart man marketing so they just put sugar in everywhere generally when i buy dairy stuff what i like to do is i like to look at the ingredients and the absolute least amount of ingredients in something helps me to feel better better that there's not all kinds of like preservatives and crap in there but you're still gonna get things um different ingredients when you really have no idea what's actually in it so for this cheese for example black diamond and cracker barrel those two have like the least amount of ingredients the ones that i found anyways the ones that are easy to find in the grocery store but this one here has milk um, modified milk ingredients cream salt bacterial culture they're all going to have that probiotics in there but then it also says color so when it says color what the heck does that mean we don't know. It's color. Color of some sort. <laughs> so if you're okay with eating that, then that's cool. I wouldn't eat a whole brick. That might not feel good on the belly. <laughs> um, anyways, though, go by how you feel with, with your dairy. You know, some people are really, a lot of people are really, really sensitive to dairy. And that's totally fine. The way that you can notice if you're sensitive to dairy or anything, what I like to do is cut back on it or even, um, sorry, not cut back, but completely eliminate it for a little bit. And then once you've eliminated it for a little bit and then come back to it, then you can kind of notice how you feel like almost, I find for me, it's almost instant. You know that you're like, oh, that like really does not agree with my belly or, or what, if you're trying to figure out what agrees with you and what doesn't agree with you. Some people are good. Some people can eat a lot of dairy. We're like one of the only species, I believe, that still, that drink or have dairy from other animals, right? Milk uh, from cows or goats or, or whatever, right? So I say right a lot. Tell me, say, stop saying right. It's so annoying. Um, <laughs> so we're one of the only like species that actually do that actually do have milk from other other things and is that okay sure is it not okay sure 
go by how you feel. Do you feel okay consuming it? If you do, then do. If you don't, then don't. It's totally up to you. One thing to be mindful of is said that, which is really interesting, and when you think about it this way, it's kind of gross, right, is that let's say you're a dairy cow. They have these big, massive udders, and they're meant to just pump out the dairy pump, 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 all the time, and then they get an infection in their booby, in one of their titties, then they get on antibiotics and the antibiotics then goes into the milk and then we consume the milk. Anybody nurse here? You need nurse, right? Okay, I don't know if you've done this, but when you've nursed, did you try to have a little bit of alcohol? With a lot of you might have pumped and dumped, right? So you have a little bit of alcohol and then you pump it out after because you don't want your baby to have that alcohol because the baby's gonna be drunk <laughs> so, have you ever tried the milk after? It totally tastes different, right? So, can you imagine any other things that you might be putting into your body are coming out of that milk? So, when I think about when I thought about that, I was like, ugh, all these cows on antibiotics because their tits are dragging all over the ground, and then I'm going to drink that, and that's kind of gross, and I think I went off on a little bit of a tangent here, but that's okay. <laughs> Anyways, if you've done that, then you'll know that, yeah, you can taste the alcohol or you can taste whatever else is in that milk through your own milk. Anybody ever taste their own breast milk when they're not drinking? It's super sweet. It tastes like if you have cool, if you haven't and you think that's gross, cool, doesn't matter, I have. And it tastes like when you leave your bowl of Fruit Loops and you drink the milk after the Fruit Loops, that's what it tastes like. It's very, very sugary. So from a very, very young age, we, we taste that sugar and then we need that sugar. So it's hard to not need that sugar, but you don't need that sugar. It's okay. I'm gonna do a little shout out to Candace. Candice Keto Kitchen. She makes all kinds of really, really awesome stuff if you have a little bit of sweet tooth, but you don't want to have the sweet. You just want to have the good stuff instead, or the better stuff for now instead, until they find some other sort of controversy, because, hey, it's going to happen for now. So dairy, that was kind of a little short and sweet thing. If you guys did watch that video, The Magic Pill, they talk a little bit more. They go into a little bit more depth about dairy. And there's also another Net, uh, Netflix movie as well. I have to think of what that is. It'll come to me. And when it does, I will uh, share it with you guys. So that's it for now for a little bit of dairy, for a little bit of stuff. I'm going to see you guys on, well, not see you, see you down below on Wednesday night. A15 mom guilt. Alrighty, see ya.